Welcome back, Grams. As we mentioned at the top of the show, CSU football is in dire straits coming into week four. The Rams have struggled to any success on offense except in garbage time with only 33 points for and a staggering 130, 123 against. Should Ram fans be hitting the panic button at this point in the season with how things have played out thus far? What do you think, Ella? Yeah, I hit the panic button the first week. <laughs> I knew this was going to go downhill so fast, and now I'm double hitting the panic button and throwing my arms everywhere, throwing people panic buttons, because we have people leaving the program. That is when things go downhill, is when our recruits don't want to be here anymore. Because that tells everybody looking at the school, hey, stuff goes wrong, and you shouldn't come, because we came and it was a mistake. I, th I think it's huge that a coach comes here with players and one of those players is already leaving. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it doesn't put a good taste in my mouth for the, for the school, but, you know, I, I, think, I think we still got a chance. I'm, I'm not going to panic yet, but I think we might want to <laughs> might want to start uh, preparing for the worst. I agree. I think we're in a panic for sure. Um, this weekend against Sacramento State, not very many high hopes, but... Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I never even heard of them, so it's like <laughs> I feel like we should win them. Had you heard of Middle Tennessee State? No, <sighs> I, I you mean, haven't, right? <laughs> Let me answer the question for you. You hadn't heard of them. I mean, it's different if you take you know, a second stringer, a third stringer. They don't want to be in the program anymore. They want to be somewhere where they can be first string. I get that. But Melquan Stovall was the only bright spot this team had in these last few weeks. Oh, yeah. The only one. And I say that with confidence because Clay Millen know. is a good quarterback, but we have no O-line to protect him. No. Melquan Stovall can catch the ball and he can run. Those are the only two things that we need to score points. Yeah, but we still got, I mean, Torrey Horton is an incredible player. And that, 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 that connection is the only thing keeping me hope. Do you think hope. Torrey Horton <laughs> is going to want to stay in this program with Melquan Stovall leaving? I mean, yeah. Why not? He's, he's getting all the touches. I mean, that's that's a wide receiver's dream is to get all, all the targets, all the catches, all the touchdowns. Like he's literally he's getting all of them. A wide receiver's now. dream is to lose every single game by thirty points. He's no. getting his stats. <laughs> no, it's not because then you're. That's how you don't make it to the NFL. I don't know. Those stats can prove a lot for you going to the NFL. <laughs> I mean, Taylor said it at the top. We have what thirty-two points towards for us yes. on offense. Thirty-three. 30, 30, 30, 30, oh, 30. I'm so sorry. <laughs> thirty-three that one point yeah. points for our team and twenty-three. Sacks that on Clay part, Millen. That part hurts a lot. Yeah, feel bad it does, right? <laughs> we are a touchdown and a safety away from being tied with sacks and points. Just <laughs> towards the sacks part of it, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> that should never be a stat. No, it no. should not, especially not for us. And I, I don't think there's really much more to say. I mean, like, some people are going to panic, some people aren't, but the bottom line is we're 0-3. We're not looking good. No. <laughs> that's all we know. If we <laughs> go 1-11 and 11 and our one win is Wyoming, <laughs> that's a good season. Yeah, <laughs> that's agreed. I'll agreed. get rid of my panic button if that's the case. Agreed. And while we could talk about CSU football for forever, let's move on to the pros for a little bit and talk about whether we should panic about Broncos football. They had a little bit of a rocky start. They do have a win under their belt, unlike a green and gold team that we're yeah. familiar with. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Is it time to worry about this team, or is it just beginners I, I don't think with it's, Russell it's Wilson? Not, it's not panic no, at all. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so either. I mean, I mean the Texans, that, that was kind of bad. I'll, I'll admit, we, sh we should have beat <laughs> the Texans. The Texans aren't a good team. We should have beat them by a lot eye. more, I agree. <laughs> but I, I think our defense is looking good. No, Randy Gregory's looking really good. He's looking like he's worth the money. But I, I think we got a good team, and I don't think it's time to panic yet. Now, is Russell Wilson looking like he's worth that money? That was that big money, bucks. That money, I don't know. But he's definitely he's not looking bad, if you ask me. I agree. I don't think he's looking bad. He needs to still get those orange colors, like get comfortable <laughs> in yeah. orange and blue. Yeah. And it's tough to play your original team for that one yeah. so quick into Agreed. a season. And so I think there's still time. I think week one was kind of a scratch off for the Broncos because yeah. not only did Seattle absolutely rattle Russell Wilson having him back there. I mean, yeah. that entire stadium booed him. But it's week one. Mm. You see incredible teams who end up making it to the Super Bowl get absolutely destroyed week True. one, and it's not True. an issue. That could be the Broncos' only loss of the season. So I'm not going to hit. Clean. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's saying a it clean. could be. It no. could be. I'm not saying that's, that's going to be <laughs> the true case. But I'm saying, honestly, I think Russell Wilson's a good leader. He's a good quarterback. He has the weapons to do well in the season. I think it's just a rocky start. They still beat him. A win's a win. A win is a win. A win is a win. It still was not a good win. 
But I, I, I say 16 and 1 until proven otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> I don't know what to expect with this team when they face a rock solid quarterback like Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. And we do play him twice this year. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> <it might be. laughs> so whether the Broncos are a second place team, a third place team, or they're actually going to be able to beat the Chiefs this year, I don't know. I, I still don't think it's time to panic. I, I think I, I think I we got, we got a good team. Panic about CSU football before you you're going to panic about the Broncos. About that is one thing that we want to make very clear. <laughs> if you are a CSU fan, worry We're about sorry. that first. Make that top priority, yep. not the Broncos. Yep. <laughs> And with that, Rams, that's all the time we have for you tonight. Be sure to tune in to CAC's Closeout on Thursday for more sporting news. Leah will bring you a special segment on yet another never-before-mentioned CSU team. Thank you all so much for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your night.